Ain't no sunshine when she's gone It's not warm when she's away Ain't no sunshine when she's gone She's always gone too long Anytime she goes away Wonder this time where she's gone Wonder if she's gone to stay Ain't no sunshine when she's gone And this house just ain't no home Anytime she goes away kind of nice for us to be back over here again. Some of the people who normally would have come with us are sick in one way or another, but it's nice to be back over here. It's kind of uh, fun to be uh, traveling from one large uh, city to another large city all over the world. Uh, cities have things about them that if you uh, are from a very small place like I am, when you first come to a very large place. You feel like that maybe you might be a little odd there. But when you get there, you find out that maybe if you lived in some place where they had maybe, oh, 800 people and you knew all 800 people, you were much uh, better off than if you had been um, in some place where there were, say, 8 uh, million people and you didn't really know anybody. You can live your life 
Most of us at some point in our lives get our tongues tied up and can't say what maybe what we intended to, so I'll take another crack at it. <laughs> Most of us at some point in our lives have somebody that means more to us than anybody else has ever meant before or will ever mean again. Sometimes it's a long-legged lady if you're a man, or some tall, very smooth man if you're a woman. And in some odd cases, they get kind of crossed up. We won't talk about those. <laughs> but in my case, I learned how to really love somebody from not a very pretty lady, not at that point in their life, not uh, sexy at all, but just a nice old lady who used some very nice old gnarled hands to make life kind of nice for me at that time when I really needed somebody. And it wasn't after I got older and started to look around for things. It was before I even knew what I was looking for. And probably since I consider myself somebody who writes primarily, out of all the... Uh, things that I might have written. My favorite thing that I've written has, has to be about this favorite old lady of mine. Grandma's hand clapped in church on Sunday morning. Grandma's hand Played a tambourine so well Grandma's hands used to issue out a warning She'd say, Billy, don't you run so fast Might fall on a piece of glass Might be snakes there in that grass Grandma's hands The local unwed mother, Grandma's hands used to ache sometimes and swell. Oh, Grandma's hands used to lift her face and tell her she'd say, "Baby, Grandma understands that you really love that man. Put yourself in Jesus' hands, Grandma's hands." Then Grandma's hands used to hand me a piece of candy. Grandma's hands picked me up each time I fell. Oh, Grandma's hands, boy, they really came in handy. She'd say, Matty, don't you whip that boy. What you want to spank him for? He didn't drop no apple core, but I don't have grandma anymore. 
If I get to heaven, I'll look for Grandma's hand mm -hmm. Thank you. Usually after that point in your life, the ladies that you meet have a whole other kind of use for you. Hmm. Just keep on using me like you wanna Until you use me up
If he's the cause of your sorrow, be glad that he's gone away. I need someone, let me love you. Please don't push me away. Let me in your life.
Summer night in Harlem Man, it's a really hot Well, it's too hot to sleep And I'm too full to eat I Don't care if I die or not Winter night in Harlem Thank you. 